an off game against Iowa State kind of motivated you a little bit more? Most definitely. Um, you know, you always want to play your best when you when you go out there on the court. And tonight, um, I just wanted to like play my best from the, the disappointing um, outcome of Iowa State. Just wanted to be aggressive tonight. Did you feel you had the mismatch going into this one? Oh, uh, I guess so. Cause I, I, I knew they played um, four guards and um, twenty. He, he's kind of he's more of a three than a four, and um, I knew I had the mismatch when I was close enough. Auburn, one of the hottest teams in the country. A lot of people will be looking at those guys, but just talk about that as a motivation and a challenge. Um, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I think this game prepared us a little bit for it because they play that four guard out, they shoot those threes as well, and uh, once we get out there and defend those guys, um, I think we'll be okay. This Kansas team looked like uh, they were really ready to go after. A not so good finish against Iowa State. Was that a motivational role? Um, yes, it was. Um, after that game, uh, it was Selection Sunday, and we watched film. We broke down things that, that we could have did better. The next day, we was in the gym. Guys were competing. That's something that I'm um, very proud of these guys for bouncing back. And hope uh, everyone's focused and focused on going, going to the game. Certainly. Thanks, Steve. Talk yes, about pride. How proud are you, KJ? Uh, very proud. Um, the way he played today was, was, was phenomenal. He was aggressive, and uh, PJ played great today. And what about your parents? Uh, you know, they, they got a kick out of this as well. Yeah, probably so. Um, I know we're going to laugh about it probably after the game. I haven't talked to them yet. Today, you guys uh, shot more three points. I mean, you were on fire from behind the arc. Is that something that kind of was part of the game plan, or did it happen during the course of the game? It just happens. Um, we just played, play, play out, had a defensive play, they down the ball screen. I knew um, popping back towards the top of the key would leave me open. It was all about stepping up and making shots. Diedrich, not a lot of guys can get some jitters uh, going into the first NCAA tournament game. It seems like you guys were able to kind of shake it off and take control of this game early. Did you kind of get that feeling out there, the guys kind of getting? Most definitely. The coach told us before the game, go out there and have fun. And that's something that um, I enjoy. Playing the game basketball is a fun game. So if you're not having fun with it, I mean, what you're doing it for. And um, guys definitely having fun out there, having fun playing with each other. And the chemistry was definitely there tonight. Chemistry there between you and your brother. You guys playing off each other a little bit there? Uh, I think I think it's kind of natural when he in the game, in the game. We, we might sometimes just play off each other just naturally just because we played with each other for, for so, so many years. And it just kind of natural for us. Um, it, was, it, was, it was very special for him to go out there and produce such a uh, high, high level and the opportunity where Derek Cook gave it to him early, put him in, and he, 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 he did good with it. Yep, mom and dad was here. They got in last night around 12, and we hung out with them a little bit before the game. We were just talking about life. Uh, no, I think my dad sent me twice. My mom sent me twice as well.